Wait, wait, wait. Don't ask for that. Don't ask for that. Get out of here. Get out of here, my face. Check the juice. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what? It's my Hey, what? Okay. Hey, what? On May 20th, 2023, police were called to a family dollar store regarding a woman who was refusing to leave the premises. According to the manager, Christina, the woman, later identified as Banata, had purchased juice but became confrontational when she felt she was being watched by store employees. Okay. Didn't say one word to her. Right. She was there. I cast her out. She's the one that giving me eye contact mm -hmm. and keep looking back at me. So I just start giving her the eye contact back while she's exiting the door. So right. being watched while shopping can cause discomfort and distrust. For Bernada, feeling observed by store employees likely triggered anxiety and a defensive reaction. In this situation, she may have thought the employees were watching her because they suspected she intended to rob or shoplift. Shoppers, especially in discount stores, may already feel vulnerable or self-conscious, and surveillance can exacerbate these emotions. And she came back in here to me. So I backed up the stair over there. I'm like, we have a problem? Right. You watching me. I said, I'm entitled to watch everyone in the store. Mm. She came back in here. She told me to call the police. So I went ahead and called the police. Okay. So can you please give her a no trespassing for me, please? A store employee can observe what customers are doing in the store, but they cannot check their bags without a valid reason. If a customer initiates an in-store disturbance over being watched, it creates a public disturbance that can tarnish the store's reputation. In such cases, the shop owner has the right to permanently ban the customer from the premises. Officers then proceeded to speak with Bernada. All right, well, let's go outside. I got to get your name. She doesn't want you to come back in the store, all right? Come back? Ever. Why do you why do you why do you why do you mean come back on this store? You cannot I'm, come I'm, here anymore. I buy why I buy something you say I don't come back on family dollar. <laughs> What, is, what, what does that mean? You cannot come back here. Why does that come back? As the officer began to speak to Bernada, she responded in an agitated manner. Bernada's agitated behavior likely stemmed from feeling unjustly accused and humiliated. The officer informed her that she had been banned from the store and that if she returned, she would face trespassing charges. He also warned her that if she did not leave the store immediately, she would be arrested. If Bernada returns after being banned, she can be charged with criminal trespassing trespass, a misdemeanor punishable by fines, community service, or jail time under laws like California Penal Code Section 602. Refusing to leave when instructed by police can lead to immediate arrest and additional penalties. If you don't leave the store, I don't leave the store. You're you going to go to jail. You don't understand. You are going to go to jail. Go Do you understand go that? Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Check you, my bag. Yeah, I'm not going to check your bag. I'm going to take you to jail. No. Well, fuck up, fuck. Come on. You let's see? go. No. Let's go. Bernada believes she's being ejected from the store because she allegedly stole something, repeatedly urging the officer to check her bag. In such situations, the human brain often seeks confirmation of its assumptions rather than understanding the true reasons behind actions taken. In this case, the officers are banning her due to her causing a public disturbance, not because of suspicion of shoplifting or theft. If theft were suspected, the police would typically arrest her immediately. You do understand if you don't leave, you're going to go to jail, right? I don't leave. You don't understand me? I don't leave. You make trouble. I just come in. I don't drink no nothing. Right, I, I just that. come in and this I I, I, she's follow me. Right. I stay in the front door. She say, I say, what happened? You just follow me. Take my try to take my picture. I get that. Yeah. Okay. You're in public. Anybody could take your picture. It is legal for anyone to take a picture of someone in public without a valid reason due to the balance between freedom of expression and privacy rights. This explains why the woman is very angry about her picture being taken without her consent. This perceived invasion of privacy can trigger a defensive and confrontational reaction. Additionally, her refusal to leave the premises may be driven by a need to assert control in a situation where she feels powerless and humiliated. Why is show my picture? You take, you take, you take, my, I'm Dumb? Either okay, way. check my bag. Either way. You don't understand? All right, you want check to my bag. Here. Let me get you back. Okay. Give me back. What check it out if you make me let me not plan. Let me get, let me get it. So far, everything had been fine with the officer just repeatedly requesting the woman to leave the store. There were no charges against her yet, and she could have simply walked out. However, the woman did something that made her situation much worse. Instead of complying, she began arguing loudly and refused to leave. This escalation prompted the officer to consider more serious actions. Come back I here. Fin you I understand? told you, you I have finished to leave. Check, check the hey, 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 what? It's my hey, what? Out, okay. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? If you do not hey, leave, what? 
I don't leave, take something! Hey, what? At this point, Bernada became very aggressive and started yelling at the cops. The conversation, which had been normal until now, gradually became more aggressive and agitated. This made the officers very alert as they assumed she might attack them. When individuals feel threatened or trapped, their fight or flight response can trigger aggressive behavior as a means of self-preservation. Studies show that in high-stress encounters with law enforcement, the risk of physical confrontation can increase by up to 30%. Officers are trained to recognize these signs of escalating aggression, as around 15% of police interactions can escalate to physical altercations, necessitating heightened alertness to protect themselves and defuse the situation safely. Unfortunately, each year, an average of 64 officers in the United States are killed in the line of duty during such confrontations. In these fatal encounters, approximately 5% of the perpetrators are women. No, I don't leave. So what, you're going to stay here? No, I take the minute, put the minute. Report them at my base when? Give me the report. Hey, when that's why the I, fist, the 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 them. Get out of Get out of my face. All this stuff. Now, I'm not going to get out of your face. Yes. Because you're going to go to jail. Yes. Bury, get out of my face. You're gonna go bury. Now, the situation has become very complex as Bernada refuses to leave the store. Despite having completed her shopping, she could simply exit the store and go to the police station to report the harassment she perceives at the store. However, her refusal to leave is complicating the situation both for herself and the police. Why did she call the police did for me? Why did she call the, the police store? for me? Did she ask you to leave the store? Did okay, okay, I don't leave. Nothing. Until you put the in my hand. Huh? That's set and finish. Okay, come outside with me real quick. Uh uh, mum don't back quick. Who's in boom quick? Come outside. You have proof? Come outside. You have proof? Come I outside. say no. I say no. Such behaviors are common among individuals who enter a store with intention of shoplifting or committing other crimes, but are apprehended before doing so. During these encounters, they often become defensive and agitated in an attempt to assert their innocence. This defensive reaction can stem from fear of legal consequences or a desire to avoid admitting guilt. It's important to note that I am not suggesting she came to commit any crime. I am discussing this from a psychological perspective. I don't want you back. Okay, you see me, let me know that. I'm going to have one more game. You, you, me let me know that right here. I go, I leave. You want to go to jail? Yes, Why? go ahead. Why? In such situations, people often make very poor decisions. This woman believes she is being harassed because of the pictures being taken, but she doesn't realize that if she gets arrested and goes to jail, she will face much more significant harassment. The officers, having no other options, decide to arrest her, and that's when the situation takes a turn for the worse. Okay! Who do you want me to know that, Mary? Sure! Yes! All right! Let's have that Take, take Relax. that Relax. When Bernada did not leave after several requests by the officers, they were forced to arrest her. Even during the arrest process, Bernada continued to argue and resist, making it difficult for the officers to proceed smoothly. Her resistance not only prolonged the situation but also increased the risk of injury to both herself and the officers. Ultimately, the officers had to use additional measures to ensure she was safely taken into custody. Stop! Stop the stop, stop. Stop. Hey, hey. Hey. Bernada is going to face charges of criminal trespass due to her refusal to leave the premises after multiple requests. Additionally, her resistance during the arrest may lead to further charges of resisting arrest or obstructing a police officer, both of which can carry additional fines and penalties. It's important to understand the emotional turmoil Bernada might be experiencing. Feeling unjustly accused and humiliated can provoke intense reactions, making it difficult to remain calm and cooperative.